All right, folks, make sure you use hashtag Cowboys to get your questions on the show. It's the best way to do it here on the Cowboys Report. So use that hashtag Cowboys. Keep them coming. Producer Brett's got them coming up here on YouTube and on Facebook. From Andrew Way, Jason Ray, excuse me, Jason Witten and OTAs. He looks like he's got faster with his first step. That is what the Cowboys claim. Um, and Witten was definitely slow in 2017. But I do have this little nagging part of me that says he's 37. Let's pump the brakes on saying Witten is suddenly faster now. It's an interesting idea. It's it's the whole he's in the best shape of his life, which is the nature of every OTA and minicamp. He might have tested faster. I certainly hope he did, but it, it's OTAs. Let's not get too caught up with the couple of highlight videos the Cowboys tweet out from their social media pages. All right, next up from Kerm. Hopefully I got that one right. Is the Zeke situation, will the Zeke situation cause the NFL to, to suspend him? This is the dangerous part. The NFL can totally say, you knocked in your, you bumped a security guard, you pushed him over. Two-game suspension. NFL is judge, jury, and executioner. They can do whatever they want. So I don't think the NFL will suspend Zeke. I certainly hope that they won't. But it, if anyone's telling you there's no chance of it, I don't think they're paying enough attention what, to what's happened in the NFL. And with the NFL, especially with the, Ty the Tyreek Hill stuff, they are now almost due to have to drop the hammer on somebody. Maybe it is Tyreek Hill. But if you're Zeke and you know that Roger Goodell maybe doesn't like you the most, might be a good time to really make sure you're not doing stuff like you did in Vegas. Now, folks, if we don't get your questions answered here, go DM me on Twitter or follow me, tweet me, whatever. I'll be sure to get to them. That's at WhatGoingDowny. So I know they got a lot of comments coming in. We can't get to every single one. So if your question or questions don't get answered, tweet them to me at WhatGoingDowny. Again, that's at WhatGoingDowny. Jeffrey asking what the punishment will be for Zeke. I lean towards nothing, but at the same time, it's Zeke and it's Goodell. There's always going to be at the back of my mind that, oh, God, he's just one little thing. Goodell could drop the band hammer again. So I think it's nothing, but we'll see. From Aloy Conway, I feel Sean Lee at most will last four games before he gets hurt. What do you think? I refuse to answer that question because there is no answer that it is any way positive beyond me saying all 16 games, which that's what I'm going to hope for, but... I'm not going to make predictions on when guys get hurt. That just feels like that feels like speaking bad ideas into the universe, and I don't want to do that one. All right, from Mario, will Sean Lee have over or under 18 snaps a game? I'll take the over. In fact, I'll put the over and under at 25 per game. I think that might be a little bit more realistic there for Mario or for Sean Lee at 25. So when it comes to 18, give me the over there. Bobby Spencer, can the kid from Memphis pass block? And it's certainly not his best strength. He did have one good, good pickup in OTAs. Uh, but frankly, if you're using Tony Pollard to pass block, you're probably doing it wrong. Now, yes, yeah, some plays are going to keep him in, but Tony Pollard was almost a hybrid running back receiver at Memphis. If anything, I'm using him more like Duke Johnson, and I'm putting him in the slot as a slot receiver than I am having him being a pass blocking running back. Zeke's a great pass blocker. Maybe you should throw both of them out there on the field. Just saying. From Joe, will Jason Garrett lose his job if the Cowboys do not make it to the Super Bowl? I don't know if it's truly Super Bowl or bust. I could see a scenario where the Cowboys make the conference championship game or they win a playoff game and then someone important like a Dak Prescott, God forbid, gets hurt. And then it becomes Jason Garrett truly is Marvin Lewis and he buys five more years. So it's not quite at that level of Super Bowl or bust, Joe, but... He does have to make it further, I think, barring some exceptions like injury-related ones. From Casey Addison, how long before Witten oversteps the leadership role of our younger guys? I mean, Witten's going to come back and be a leader. Like, there's no way you sign a 37-year-old and expect him to not be a leader for you. I, I don't think Witten is ever the type, though, to go against the grain of what the Cowboys are preaching. Witten, through and through, is a Jason Garrett guy. So he's going to get along well with the leadership there. And frankly, there's still a decent amount of guys he played with back in 2017. So I'm not worried about Witten suddenly coming in and overstepping the leadership of, of younger players. That's, that's not a concern for me really at all. 
All right, folks, question for you guys, non-Cowboys related. What is your favorite beer? Now, if you're under the age of 21, uh, tell me your favorite root beer, I guess. But if you're over the age of 21, tweet me at what going down. He sent me a screenshot of you drinking your favorite beer, and make sure to tag your uh, that that company in it. Maybe we can get uh, some more beer sponsors here on the, on the Cowboys report. I think it's a fun idea. So again, let me know your favorite beer. Tweet it to me at what going down. Don't forget to tag that beer company. From diehard one two three six, not four. Uh, hashtag Cowboys next year should we draft or trade for a fast tight end? I, I think that's as a look ahead. That's one of your bigger needs. But also, let's see how Blake Jarwin and Dalton Schultz look this season. Let's see if one of them does step up. Maybe it's Blake Jarwin. Maybe it's Schultz. And if that happens, you don't have to. If it's kind of what we saw last year, and Witten very much looks like a 37-year-old out there, I think tight end should be one of your top targets. And you also could just sign somebody too that could be an option for the Cowboys as well but if there isn't growth from Schultz and or Jarwin significantly I'd say you probably gotta look at a tight end early in free agency draft or in the trade market from Mitch not uh, not the Raiders support host Mitch but Mitch anyway Mike White or Cooper Rush that's gonna be an interesting training camp battle I, I think that you'll see both those guys get second team reps with almost no first team reps because um my favorite quote, uh, that I, I, one of my favorite ones about quarterbacks from Tom Moore, who was the Colts offensive coordinator, and I'll, I'll make it PC for you. Uh, they were asking about what happens if Peyton Manning goes down, how do you practice that? And, and he responded back, if Peyton goes down, we're screwed. Of course, he said the F word instead. We don't practice screwed. That's why you're not going to see Cooper Rush or Mike White get a lot of first team reps. But in terms of backup, preseason will be critical. I think Mike White versus last year has a better chance to actually win that backup quarterback job. All right, next up from Kruger Cantu, do you think Dak will improve on his reads? Uh, I mean, I, I certainly think so. I also don't think Dak is a disaster on that front. I think that's wildly overhyped, but I, I do think you'll see growth from Dak Prescott. He's, he's entering year four. He is still 25 years old. He's going to be 26, but still, he's going to get better. At least you could assume he's going to get better. Nicholas Butler, Will we use the hurry-up offense more? Dak looks more comfortable in it to me. I certainly hope so. I agree with you, Nicholas. I don't think it's a coincidence that late in games, we often see the best out of Dak Prescott. Now, I think partially that's because we know who the play caller was. So I hope that the Cowboys do use some more up-tempo up stuff because it puts more pressure on the defense. Back to Daniel on Facebook. Do you think Kellen Moore will bring a new look and spark to the offense? Again, I mentioned this way back when. I don't think you're going to see a drastic overhaul of this offense. And really, Dak Prescott said something similar earlier this week. It's more likely that you see some tweaks and adjustments and some wrinkle changes. I think you see more play action, more pre-snap motion, which is really critical. That'll help Dak Prescott going back to the previous question about his reads. Helps you identify what defense the opposing team is actually in. So I don't think it's going to be a full-on new look, but I think a spark could definitely happen there. From Tyson Thompson, will the Cowboys make the playoffs? I certainly hope so, and I think so as well. If the Cowboys don't make the playoffs, Garrett's gone in all, in all likelihood, and it makes for a very frustrated year for everyone watching the Cowboys report. So I think the Cowboys do make the playoffs, but even that, they have to do more than just be one and done. From Bobby Spencer asking the question Brett Scott always likes to ask. Is this the last year for Jameel Showers? Yes, I think it is. Now, it should have been last year, but he got hurt. But Showers is out of practice squad eligibility. That is going to be the end of Jameel Showers, I think. Barring a, a rash of safety injuries, I think he's pretty much done in the NFL, at least for now, which... That's unfortunate, but here's the thing. Jameel Showers is 27 years old. A former UTEP quarterback has finessed his way to four or, four or so years in, an, in, in the NFL. Good for Jameel. He played that very well for himself. Andy, what do you think of Harrison Graham's fully guaranteed three-year, $48 million deal for Dak? I remember while I was gone, Harrison Graham did throw this together. I'm intrigued by it. Uh, I don't know if that's what Zeke would want to do. But fully guaranteed does help. Maybe here's the biggest red flag on this, just, just because it's Zeke. A suspension voids all guarantees. There, there's at least a chance of it, right? 
So I don't think they want to be in a situation, or Zeke wants to be where he gets suspended for something silly by Goodell, fair or not, and then you took less money because it was guaranteed, and now it's not guaranteed. So I, I like the idea. I don't know how Zeke's agent would be. I do think you can maybe see Zeke take a little bit less because the Cowboys and Jerry Jones, they, they go to bat for him. That's a big deal. From ETCH Family Guy, Depth is the best we've seen in a while. Any surprise starters? Okay. Um, maybe it is Connor uh, McGovern. I, I think that could be one if he counts as a surprise starter at this point if they want to make Sewell the swing tackle. Uh, nothing at tight end. Nothing at receiver. Defensive line seems pretty safe. Linebacker. I, maybe McGovern. I think this, the starters in general are pretty much set. In some There's really only, I think, two starting battles. Left guard and safety? I mean, I guess some at, at receiver inside in terms of playing time, but the guys are kind of locked in there. So I think McGovern makes the most sense. Hey, Cowboys fans. Thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the Internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.